Welcome back. We're having uh, doing continuing coverage of the mandatory evacuations for the city of Crown King. This is about an hour north of Phoenix, all because of a fire barely 24 hours old. We're talking about the horse fire. Yes, I understand it's only almost Halloween and we are talking wildfires started as a 2600 acre fire up to 3500 acres uh, on the phone with us now is Debbie Manili from the US Forest Service. Thank you so much. Can you hear me, Debbie? Yes, I can. Thank you for having me. Uh, help us uh, learn about the terrain here. We're talking about pretty rugged terrain. What are the challenges with this fire right now? So this fire is about 18 miles south of the city of Prescott. It's in a very remote, rugged area of our forest. Um, it's on Horse Mountain, hence the name Horse Fire. It's very steep. The access to this fire has been very challenging. Yesterday we did use aircraft. Uh, mostly to help support this fire to start getting some suppression on it. Um, as we try to figure out a ways to get our crews in there safely, where they would have access in and be able to get out if needed um, very fast. So they're having to use roads, the Senator Highway or Forest Road 52 as one of our roads to get people in there. But again, like I said, it's, it's a... Far from Prescott, these roads out there are dirt roads. They're single-lane roads. They're not very well maintained. And then the area where the fire is itself does not have um, road access into it. About how far away is this from Crown King right now? Um, so the fire itself is probably about six miles to the northeast of Crown King. Um, it has moved to the south a little bit. Winds yesterday were out of the north, so it was pushing that fire down. And so it has moved a little bit closer towards community of Crown King, that, hence that they are on um, evacuation right now. We do want to remind people that all roads into Crown King right now are closed. We may not have signs up yet. We're trying to get those up and get it staffed. But if people could please keep off of those roadways, um, try not to get up there to Crown King so that we can get our folks in and out of there safely and our equipment. And quickly, uh, you're doing air attack. The wind isn't too bad, and I've seen helicopters, uh, so we'll continue to do that. You guys will continue to do that today? Yes, and we'll continue to. We've ordered up the air tankers. So the VLAT, which is a very large air tanker, which will be flying out of Mesa Gateway, and we've also ordered three additional large air tankers. So hopefully they'll be up soon and be flying, and we can get them to start dropping some retardant, which will just help slow um, the growth of the fire as we get in there and the ground crews get in there and look for some natural features or roads for some containment lines so we can start getting some line built to prevent these fires um, from moving any closer to the communities and the values at risk there. Okay, thank you so much. Be safe out there and uh, good luck today. I want to quickly show you, you are going to see the smoke once again in the valley. This is a satellite view, a loop, and you can kind of see these wispy ghost looking things. That is smoke from this fire. We saw it yesterday. We're going to see it again today. If you're breathing in the smoke or if you're smelling the smoke, that means you're breathing it in. So maybe not a best day to go jogging if you're smelling that.